Trinity B1 ISC1 4 Skills Test CELT Secure English Language Tests B1 English Test ISC1 Skilled Worker Health and Care Worker Scale-Up Worker Student Visas Okay, let's start. This is Trinity College London ISC1 B1. My name's Angelina. Okay, let's start over. Okay, you, yeah. you're very handsome. Congratulations Thank to you. you. Okay, Thank you. <laughs> let's get started. This is Trinity College London ISC1 B1. My name's Angelina. I am your interlocutor for your speaking and listening test. What's your full name? My name is Vaisal Fidan. What's your topic's title for today? I would like to today is hobbies, my hobbies. Okay. What are your four topic points? Eating out, running, traveling, and watching film. Why would you choose running? Eating out? What was the second Eating one? Eating out. Hmm. Running, traveling, running. and watching film. Running, traveling, and watching films. Why have you chosen running? Yeah, because I was young and uh, is running, and I am an athlete. Was about athlete. eight or ten years. Yeah. Hmm. 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 So is there is there anything that we can put like a wider topic in here, like working out or playing sports or something like it? Because this is a very specific topic. If examiner yeah. will ask you a question, then mm -hmm, you might be, uh, you know, what is this question? So I would want you to pick something bigger, you know, something. Okay. Uh, yeah. So let's try to go for either working out or playing sports. What do you want to pick? Because examiner will ask you, what kind of sports do you like to play? You know, or what kind of sports do you like? Or if you want to go for fitness, you know, exercise and fitness, you can choose okay. that as well. So uh, let's change this. Eating out, exercise and fitness, exercise and fitness, exercise and fitness. Okay. Fitness and uh, mm, watching film and traveling. Watching films and traveling. Okay. Hold on. Just give me a moment. Let me get my glasses. I'd be right back. This is Trinity College London ISC1 B1. My name's Angelina. I am your interlocutor for your speaking and listening test. What's your full name? My name is Vaisal Fidan. What's your topic's title for today? Today, I would like to talk about my hobbies. What are your four topic points? Eating out, watching film, traveling, and exercise and fitness. What do you do to keep yourself fit and healthy? Sorry? What do you do to keep yourself fit and healthy? I am... No? No, this is not a good point. Let's cancel this. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think playing sports is much better, you know? Playing I'm going to add playing sports. Mm-hmm. Okay, because in sports, I think running, swimming, all these things are sports as well in some way. So you can talk about it as well. But if you like soccer, like that's called football. If you like uh, badminton or basketball or baseball, mm -hmm. you can talk about those things. Yeah? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it's better than playing sports. Better. Because, you know, uh, I, I don't want you to get upset with the topic because... You need to be confident that, okay, whatever question, mm. first question my examiner would ask me, I need to answer that correctly. Okay, let's start over. Okay. Hmm. This is Trinity College London, ISC1, B1. My name's Angelina. I am your interlocutor for your speaking and listening test. 
What's your full name? My name is Faisal Fidan. What's your topic's title for today? I would like to talk about my hobbies. Okay. What are your four topic points? Eating out, traveling, hmm. watching film, and playing hmm. sports. Okay. What kind of sports do you like to play? So I like to playing soccer. Sometimes I playing basketball. Okay. But I, I like more than any soccer i more i like more than other one how often do you play it about more or less seven years every day every day once a week every day yes how often means hmm, how many times once mm -hmm. once in a once in a week mm -hmm. and with who do you play it my my friends okay all right do you like individual sports or team sports i like the team sports and why is that yeah be, because this one is easy easy then mm -hmm. okay all right do you like any extreme sports yeah, I don't like it, but I want to try uh, climbing. Rock climbing? Okay, all right, okay. All right, so that's called climbing. Ming, be climbing. silent. Yes, climbing. climbing. Mm. Okay. okay, this is not going very good by far. Okay, you need to work on this point that is playing sports, okay. please. Okay. Once again, I'd like to ask you, what kind of sports do you like to play? I like to play soccer. Mm -hmm. and How often sometimes... do you play it? How often do you play it? Once in a week, probably. Okay. Do you like any other sports besides soccer? Yeah, sometimes I play basketball. Sometimes badminton. Do you like any other uh, adventure sports? Have you ever tried any adventure sports? I don't try adventure sports, but I would like to try climbing. Cl leave this word. Vaisen, leave it. Don't say, okay. say, I want to try scuba diving. You don't know scuba okay. diving? Skydiving. No. Yes, skydiving. Don't use the word climbing because you don't know the pronunciation. There's no need to use it. Okay. 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 What kind of, do you like to play any adventure sports? Yeah, I don't play any adventure sports. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, all right. Uh, would you please tell me about the places you like to travel? I like to travel last last day Bristol. I, I like it. Uh, Vincent, usually, I'm asking you, tell me about the places where you like to travel, usually. Like, I like to usually. travel to this place usually, not like yesterday. But I'm just asking you, tell me about the places where you like to travel. Hmm. I travel Ankara, usually. Hmm. Okay, what do you like about traveling? Yeah, because this this city is very nice city. Hmm. Hmm. You, have, you have two choices in this city. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I like this thing. So, what do you like about traveling? Traveling is your hobby, right? So, I am yeah. asking you, what do you like about traveling? Traveling is fun. You know, I can learn new things. I can meet new people. I can try different foods. 
Mm, what do you like about traveling? The traveling is very nice hobby because you mm -hmm. learn too many things and any anywhere. For example, mm -hmm. you go to you mm -hmm. go to new a new city. You mm -hmm. learn about the city, foods, mm -hmm. visiting mm -hmm. area. Hmm. And for example, hmm. entertainment areas, you learn about hmm. things. Hmm. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, so could you tell me about a film that you had seen recently? I recently watched uh, Avatar. Mm -hmm. Okay, and who was your yeah, favorite Avatar. character? Who was your favorite character in the film? His name is Jax, the mm -hmm. character. Mm -hmm. He is an avatar. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or is 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 in fire community, fire mm -hmm. community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What kind of films do you usually like to watch? Yeah, I prefer watch every day, and but sometimes I don't watch it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, what kinds of films, romantic films, horror films, action films, drama, historical, what kind of films? What kind of film means what type of films, categories yeah. of films? I prefer to watch anim animation. Okay. Uh, do you like to watch films at home or, uh, or at the cinema? Cinema is better, but I generally watch in home. All right. Uh, could you tell me about a place where you eat out on special occasions? It it is a Korean restaurant. We I go to once a week. Is there? Hmm. Okay. Okay. And what kind of food do you order there? It is a special food. Is tteokbokki. Hmm. Is made made of rice put rice cake, and mm -hmm. I order every time this one, and I try other one, and every every time. For example, mm -hmm. I last I last I try a kimchi. It is a pickle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. That's fine. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is the end of part one. Thank you. Okay. Um, you did a good job, but if you will not understand parts of the question, you have to work on this. Eating out, playing sports. What are the common questions that the examiner can ask you? Okay, what kind of sports you like? What kind of places kind of. do you like to eat out at? How do you travel? How do you travel by car, by bus, by train? Where did you travel recently? What did you enjoy about uh, your traveling recently? Or usually what do you enjoy about traveling? And then uh, the examiner can ask you what kind of films? Because the examiner is trying to check your range of words. How many words do you know about the topic? Okay. So what kinds of films do you like to watch? What kinds of films means what types of films? Like um, romantic, comedy, action, thriller, sci-fi, all these types of films. And that is all. Now we're going to pick a topic of discussion that is saving money. This is the topic that I've chosen for you. Now I'm going to have a conversation for two minutes with you. So uh, my question to you is, um, could you, okay, hold on. Could you please tell me, how do you save money? Um, I think you can some mm -hmm. invest. Hmm. Hmm. And hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. And may I? You don't, you you don't pay too much money, mm. and I can say you can maybe only mm. you needed things, mm -hmm. Mm. and mm. do may do you make a budget plan? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And do you use maybe credit card? Mm -hmm. And because you you need maybe sometimes look spent mm -hmm. money. Do you how much spent money today is maybe is easier than cash? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, uh, sir, could you please tell me why is it important to save money? Why is it important? See, because you you need money when you re retired. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Could you ask me two questions about saving money? Two questions. So how do you often save money? Well, I usually save money by online shopping because online shopping can allow me to see what something costs. And I usually do not eat out because that's too expensive. I like to eat food at home. Uh, that's how I save money. Yeah, it's nice. Hurry up, hurry up. Two minutes are running out. Hurry mm -hmm. up. Second question. Mm -hmm. You can repeat the same questions the yeah. way I asked you. Do you think it is important to save money? You know, you can also ask me the same question. Now, I'm going to recommend you, if you don't know any questions, copy the questions of the examiner. Okay, you're allowed to do that. You can also ask, okay, tell me, how do you save money? If I, I'm asking you, okay, why is it important to save money? You can also ask me, okay, why is it important to save money? You can ask mm. me the same question, okay. right? Or you may ask me, okay, have you ever saved money to buy something expensive? Uh, how often do you save money? Okay, do you like to save money at home or at bank? How do you save money? You know, how? How is like uh, at home or in the bank or by investing into a place? anything like it right so this is not too impressive but this is good enough for you to pass but i want you to do your best because some questions you did not understand okay. you know so yeah. i hope i'd be able to try it with you once again tomorrow and i hope so it would be better than today that's all i can say listening i'm sure you have practiced already or you have not practiced listening have you practiced from the official website or not listening okay get your notebook then okay so i'm going to play a recording about charles dickens okay you are going to listen to this recording twice and once you've heard then i'll ask you six questions about the recording are you ready okay i'm ready isc1 task 1 Charles Dickens was born in 1812 in Portsmouth, England. Dickens was lucky enough to go to school, but at the age of 12, he had to leave school to work in a factory. After this, he worked in a law company and then became a journalist. His first novel was published in 1836. It was called The Pickwick Papers. It was published as a serial which meant people could buy one chapter every month. Dickens became very famous after the success of this novel. During his life, he wrote 15 novels and hundreds of short stories. In 1836, Dickens married a woman called Catherine Hogarth. During his marriage to Catherine, they had 10 children together. The Dickens family also had a pet, it was a bird that could talk. As well as writing, Dickens also loved the theatre and magic. He once acted in a play in front of the Queen of England, Queen Victoria. Charles Dickens died in 1870 at the age of 58, but his novels are still enjoyed all over the world. Now listen again. Charles Dickens was born in 1812 in Portsmouth, England. Dickens was lucky enough to go to school, but at the age of 12, he had to leave school to work in a factory. After this, he worked in a law company and then became a journalist. 
His first novel was published in 1836. It was called The Pickwick Papers. It was published as a serial, which meant people could buy one chapter every month. Dickens became very famous after the success of this novel. During his life, he wrote 15 novels and hundreds of short stories. In 1836, Dickens married a woman called Catherine Hogarth. During his marriage to Catherine, they had ten children together. The Dickens family also had a pet. It was a bird that could talk. As well as writing, Dickens also loved the theatre and magic. He once acted in a play in front of the Queen of England, Queen Victoria. Charles Dickens died in 1870 at the age of 58, but his novels are still enjoyed all over the world. All right, thank you. Now I'm going to ask you some questions about Charles. Okay. All right. So, uh, could you please tell me where was Charles Dickens born? England, Portsmouth. Where did he work after the factory? Law company. That's correct. How many novels did he write? 15. What kind of pet did he have? It's a bird. Okay, and who did he act in front of? Who did he act in front of? Queen Mary. Queen Victoria. What Queen age Victoria. did he die? What age did he live to? Yes, sir. What age did he live to? Hmm. Twelve. Mm -hmm. Did you live to? Die, die. When did he die? What age did he die? 1870. Age, sir. Age, age. What age did he live to? How old was he when he died? Yes. Died means dead. Dead. 58. That's right. That was okay. But you passed, of course. You had to give three answers correct, but you've given me four answers correct. Rather? Yeah, four answers correct. Congratulations. You passed this part. Okay, now next. Uh, we're going to move to the next part of listening. And in this part, I'm going to play a recording about tigers. You will listen to the recording and not take any notes. You will tell me okay. in few words what is this recording about. Okay. ISC 1, Task 2. On today's program, we will be visiting Nepal to see one of the most beautiful creatures on Earth. We're going to see tigers. A fully grown tiger is a heavy animal and can weigh up to 363 kilograms. As you can see, they are large creatures, and a tiger's tail on its own can be one meter long. Tigers usually hunt alone. They wait until it is dark to hunt other animals. Tigers can see very well in the dark, six times better than humans can. Tigers often eat five kilograms of meat in one meal. When they have eaten enough, they cover the rest of the meat with leaves and dirt and come back to it later. Unlike most other members of the cat family, tigers enjoy water and are good swimmers. You can identify an individual tiger by its stripes, as each tiger has a different pattern of stripes. Tigers can make a very loud noise when they roar. You can hear a tiger as far as three kilometers away. Okay, sir, could you please tell me what is this recording about? It's about a tiger. 
Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. This is enough. Okay. This is okay. You listen to your examiner carefully. Even if you don't understand something, you repeat the same thing. Okay. Now I am going to play the recording again. This time you're allowed to take notes. Once okay. you will take notes, I will ask you to tell me six things from the recording, six facts about tigers. Let's listen again. Okay. On today's program, we will be visiting Nepal to see one of the most beautiful creatures on Earth. We're going to see tigers. A fully grown tiger is a heavy animal and can weigh up to 363 kilograms. As you can see, they are large creatures, and a tiger's tail on its own can be one meter long. Tigers usually hunt alone. They wait until it is dark to hunt other animals. Tigers can see very well in the dark, six times better than humans can. Tigers often eat five kilograms of meat in one meal. When they have eaten enough, they cover the rest of the meat with leaves and dirt and come back to it later. Unlike most other members of the cat family, tigers enjoy water and are good swimmers. You can identify an individual tiger by its stripes, as each tiger has a different pattern of stripes. Tigers can make a very loud noise when they roar. You can hear a tiger as far as three kilometers away. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, could you please uh, tell me six facts about tigers? Tigers are as 363 kilogram. Mm -hmm. He jump one meter long. Mm -hmm. And tiger is a hunter. Mm -hmm. And and tiger mm -hmm. enjoy the water. Tiger is a good swim. Good swim. Mm -hmm. And every every each tiger different has stroke strokes. Stripes, okay. Mm -hmm. And mm. and he he listen. Far, is far three kilometers away. The roar, the roar. Okay. Roar. When roar. the uh, uh, lion is speaking, everybody can hear it. Go okay, with tiger. Okay, so uh, could you please uh, tell me? Do all Tigers look the same? Not. It's, it's all of difference. How much meat do they eat in a meal? Hmm. Five. <laughs> five kilograms. Five kilograms. Mm. Okay. And uh, how well can they see in the dark? Six percent better than human. Six times better than multiply. Six times. Now, thank you so much. You have passed your speaking and listening test. Speaking a little bit wobbly, but listening was okay. So uh, I hope you had a good experience. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Okay.